dealer put the horses away. Harry, Bragg, take a look around town. Anything going on, I want to know about it. Well, now, ain't that a beautiful sight, huh? Now, Sally. Howdy, Mr. Baxter. I've been looking for you. For a petition? Yeah. yeah. Not many names. I'll get more. I got it. Hold it, Keeler. What the? This one's tight enough. Me, Giles. The old man's a 200-pounder. Yeah. A little... Well, three feet of street. He's good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The old boy's lighter and wiry. You need about four and a half feet, which is exactly about what we got. Yeah. Well, I never did like these night hangings. Ain't like in the morning when it's cheerful. Well, guess don't matter none to Ben and Adam Cartwright. Guns in sight. That's good. If my boys weren't supposed to bring guns into town, they won't. Morning, Joe. Boss. How are you, sir? Bill. Okay, go ahead. Joe. Hi, Pa. Boss. Paul. Bill. We found him, Paul. Dead. How'd he die? We found him about 100 miles north of here. Looked like he'd fallen off of a cliff. That was thrown off. Deuce Martin? Yes, sir. We left his body with the sheriff up at Spotswood. Now, there are only two witnesses to that killing. One of them's dead already. The sheriff, you know my pawn brother are innocent. Deuce gave me a full statement. Yeah, and then he left town before the trial. Didn't much matter. Sally Burns saw it, too. And you believe her? Well, the jury did, Joe. Well, I'm sorry. Joe, Hanson's doing a hard job the best way he can. Now, time's getting short, but we may still come out of this right side up. Well, what do you want us to do now, Paul? Three things. Now, first off, talk to Sally Burns again. And second, 
Help Ed Baxter. He's putting out a special edition of the newspaper. What's that going to do? It'll make people think a little bit. And I'd like you to think of the third thing, which may be our best chance. Barney Harkin's taking a petition around town. Uh, the governor will grant a stay of execution if we can wire him the names of 50 citizens asking that our case be reconsidered. Oh, and Hawkins' men are in town, so stay clear of them. Well, we won't fool the Hawkins boys. We better get to get them. Look for your horses first. I heard you coming into town fast after a long ride. A good rancher looks to his horses first. Too high and whoosh, you know. <laughs> this town's like a graveyard. What's the matter with everybody? I just don't know. Well, mostly people come from miles around to watch the next stretching. They bring a lunch and make a day of it. <laughs> There's some folks around here kind of fond of the cart rides. Who wishes there wouldn't be any hanging. It'll make Hawkins the biggest ranch in the territory. You like our boss, don't you? Sure, sure. Just don't like to see anybody hang. Sounds to me like you ain't got no respect for the law. I'll just have to drag you out to watch it. Us and the boss will be audience enough. Hey, you know old Ben Cartwright been reading a good book? <laughs> you don't suppose he's praying for one of them miracles, do you? Shaps, Keeler, take a look around town. Care of your horse? Yeah, six quarts of grain and all the hay and water he wants. Yes, sir. Where are you from? Lassiter. Hey, ain't Lassiter that town in Kansas that them raiders looted and burned? Ben? I'm coming. Coming real soon. You, uh, here to watch? Why, uh, I'm looking for someone. I don't hardly see, uh, nobody packing a gun in the britches. I'll take care of your horse. Sure has a lot of hired guns in town. Yeah. Easy. Get out of the way. Sure, kid. Joe, Joe, Joe! Just watch who you're calling, kid. Just take it easy, Joe. Pick up yourself.
Joe, you're going to have to watch that temper, boy. Well, Hawkins better keep his men out of my way. You open? Coffee and stew. I'll have Something wrong? Oh, it's uh, just that I've never seen a lonesome a town. Well, it's just that everyone's afraid to watch the Cartwrights die. Not everyone. That calendar there says someone's been counting the days. Miss Sally, ma'am, we'd like to talk to you for a minute if we could. You see, you're the only one left in town now that can save our Paul and Adam. Me and little Joe found Deuce Martin dead. Dead? Yes, sir. You're the only witness against them now. I told you what I saw at the trial. Sally, you've lied. Little Joe, no need for that. You were hurting the lady. I didn't mean to hurt you, Sally. I'm sorry. I just wanted you to tell the truth, that's all. Doing any good here? Let's go see Bonnie Ogden. Ma'am, are you sure that that nothing had caused you to change your mind? I'm not going to lie for you. You and Cy Hawkins are the only men I've seen stand up to the Cartwrights. Coffee and stew are on the house. Who was killed? My father. Ben Cartwright come here one night with his son Adam. They were boiling mad and claimed part of him. By Maverick, stolen off their Ponderosa. They went out back with Pa and his hard hand, Deuce Martin, were cutting wood. I could hear them arguing. And then there was a shooting. Well, if you knew what it was like to have someone killed in such a crazy way like that. I do know. I know very well.
Sheriff Henson sent me. Give me a nickel if I bring some stew for supper for his prisoners. All right, Jimmy. No trigger. Yeah, that's, that's right. Looks kind of old. Well, my, my pa used it for a long time. But it's yours now? Yeah. Does the town of, uh, of Las City in Kansas mean anything to you? No. How do you mean? Well, have you uh, heard of anybody around here being connected with the town in any way? No. Well, who would be the biggest rancher around here? Ben Cartwright. I thought everyone knew that. Ben Cartwright. No, I didn't know that. Is he a... Is he a tall fella? He's big. Why? Well, he may be a fella I'm looking for. Well, don't you know by the name? I'll know when I see his face. Thank you. Hey, Shabs! Keeler! Fred says for everybody to come in and have a drink. Terry! Frank, you hear him? Nothing to worry about. Everything's under control. <clears throat> I'll be handling the final details. I'll do what I can to be helpful. That's very kind of you. Uh, just how can you help us? Your throat should be clean-shaved as possible. The hemp is new and stiff. It sometimes pulls short whiskers. That can be painful. Also, your boots should fit snug. Otherwise... I may fly off. Oh, we can do without your help. I believe you mean well, friend, but... we thank you. I understand. What do you want? To see the older Cartwright. What for? It's a personal matter. Sorry, but you can't. Go ahead. My Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. What is it? I thought I might know you. And I don't. You seem disappointed. I am. You thought the hangman was doing you a favor? Yeah. This man you, you thought I might be, you hate him very much. Yep. Sorry I troubled you. Who is it? Me, 
Paul. All right. Sally Burns ain't gonna change what she had to say. What about the petition? Barney Ogden's probably down in the miners' flats. Little Joe's down there to fetch him now. Well, that's good. They ought to get lots of names down there. Yeah, and we're gonna need them, too. Everybody in town's holed up in their house. Hawkins. Yeah, they want to stay on his good side in case he takes over the territory. Nobody's taken over while I'm sheriff. Hanson, you knew an office here. They get rid of Pa. Hawkins will start chopping away at the Ponderosa till he's more powerful than he is now. And if you stay honest, you'll just have one problem. You'll be dead. Better get on with your talking. Time's running out. Hoss, I want you to work on the petition and the newspaper. But no more than that. What do you mean, no more than that, Paul? Adam and I agree. Do everything you can inside the law. But that's all. If you try to free us by force, you know, Hawkins' men will slaughter you. Besides, you'll be coming up against these lawmen and be shooting at our friends, that's no good. I don't have to worry none, Paul. We... Hoss, I want you to promise me no violence. Yes, sir. And try the telegraph office. Maybe Joe missed Barney. Maybe he's already got the names and sent them to the governor. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll check. Mr. Cartwright? Yes? I had reason to think that the man I wanted was around here. Yeah. You thought I was him? Yes, but there were never two more different men in the whole world than you and my man, and I'm sorry that I bothered you. Don't worry yourself. Only about an hour to go. Hawkins better get here soon. Yeah, he'll sure be sore if he misses it. <laughs> he won't miss it. <sighs> you looking for something? Can I have a whiskey, please? You a stranger been going around, ain't you? You know, Fred, he packs his gun in his britches. You reckon he'd bust a finger taking it out? <laughs> oh, Hawkins don't want no trouble, Bert. Not a lot for the hanging. Sure, I know. I just wondered about this little fella here. You know, it could be he's a friend of the Cartwrights. Are you, mister? Yeah. Long standing? Ten, maybe fifteen minutes. Be a short-lived friendship. <laughs> now, us, we're backing up law and order and justice. Seeing that there ain't no slip-ups in that hanging. Now, you forget that for just one minute, and I'm going to personally turn you inside out. You hear good? You too scared to talk? Go outside and cool down, Bert. Hey, uh, Cartwright's got any friends around here? Not many. Watch it, kid. S sorry, mister. What do you got there? Stu. I gotta take you to the jail. Hey, Hoagie. Hey, Ho, come here. Yeah. <laughs> this kid's taking Stu to the jail. It must be the Cartwright's last supper. <laughs> Say, what do you think we ought to do with it, Ho? Well, let's just flavor it up a little. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Well, let's just do her upright, Ho, huh? <laughs> Ah! 
That's enough. Get him inside. Move on in. We'll take care of you later, after the hanging. I'll go get more. It don't matter. You just finish what you started, son. Yes, sir. Whose side are you on, anyhow? Well, I talked to your pa, and I'm just beginning to wonder about this hanging. How come? Well, it just seems to me that uh, the wrong kind of people are in jail around here. What's well, for sure that my pa and my brother didn't kill Mr. Burns? Yeah, well, a lot of people around here think they did. Couldn't have happened. Couldn't have happened the way Sally said it did. Mr. Burns was shot from out of the dark. My pa and Adam shot back trying to save him. You mean that uh, Sally Burns lied? No, I, I don't think Miss Sally lied. I, it was dark that night. I, I think she just didn't see it right. What about the fella that saw it? Deuce Martin? He ain't no good. Could have been scared out of it or bought off or anything. Well, I hope you get that petition signed. We will. We got a special edition of the paper coming out, and that's going to help. That's good. Still talking about that petition. Something about the newspaper. Better cover ourselves. Watch! He ain't with Hawkins. Yeah, who is he with then? You fellas, if you don't mind. Look, Barney ain't down at the flats. He hasn't been there. He didn't even go down there? No. We gotta hurry up and find him and get that petition. We haven't got much time left. Yeah, let's try his house. Come on. Right. If nothing else works, you fellas planning on a small revolution? Yep. Well, hold off as long as you can. What do you think he's got in mind? I don't know. But if it's a revolution, I got a sneaking hunch that fella would be worth a regiment. No, we don't get the petition, we're gonna need a regiment. Come on. Yeah. So when Mr. Hawkins comes to town, he'll settle with his men for treating you that way. No, he won't. He won't do nothing. Well, he can't be held responsible for what his men do. As a rule, you can usually tell a man by the men around him. Now, Hawkins was forced to hire those rough men to stand up to the Cartwrights. Better put them down, Bert. I'm busy. Hawkins won't like folks reading words like that. I can't prove the Cartwrights didn't murder Burns, but the Lord willing, I can help stop the hanging. I sure wish we could change your mind. Like you got down here, might get a whole town thinking the wrong way. Anybody ever get their arm caught in one of these things? Fred. Hmm? Looks like he's uh, melting down some type. I told you I'm busy. Sure is hot. I 
down here a fellow once who got his face pushed in some boiling lead. He sure wasn't a pretty sight. Boss, all the shades are down in Barney's house. Yeah, let's try it in here. Yeah. That's funny, middle of the day, have the shades down. Yeah. Try again. Hey, Barney, what, what are you doing sitting here in the dark? I'm... Boss, I'm sorry. Where's the petition? Don't make him feel any worse than he already does. He was trying, Hoss. If you knew what they said they'd do to him. So he quit. So he quit and he came back to hide in this house. A house you wouldn't have, Barney, if it hadn't been for my father. How many names did you get on it, Barney? Five. Five? The sheriff and deputy, the hangman and his helper, Mr. Baxter. What about your own? What about your own, Barney? They made me scratch it off. You, you don't know what they said they'd do to my daughter. Where's the petition, Barney? I'll... Little Joe and me will get signed. Look, we haven't got time for that now. No, we can try. It's here. I'll light the lamp. Don't bother, Barney. I think I can see you better in the dark than I ever did in the daylight anyhow. already asked me. And you wouldn't sign it? No. Nope. Max, we done tried six houses on this block and nobody had signed it. All we need is just a few names to get the bail. Max, you don't have to be scared of nobody. I ain't scared. It's just that... Look, I don't want no part of it. One way or the other. Now, now leave me be. Look, Max, if we... All right, let's get the guns. Not yet. I look at it, they was tried fair and square. And I ain't one to go again a judge and jury. Now, Zeke, you know they're not guilty. Well, now, I'm sorry, but I don't know no such thing. Come on, Joe. They're still with us. Thanks a lot, Zeke. Gil, you know, you've always been one of our best friends. It ain't fair you're bringing this in here. Besides, one more name won't do no good. Look, we said we'd protect you. I know you mean that, and maybe you would. Every day of the year but one. Come on, Joe. My, you sure are working hard on that petition. You know, I'll sign it. My name's Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> I wouldn't have found you. Bless it. Thanks. So you're headed there. It's about time for Mr. Baxter's paper to be out, little Jim. Let's go over and see what's keeping him. Forget it. There's no time for that paper now. If it comes to shooting... We'll do just like you said. We'll hold off till the last. Let's go.
Baxter. Mr. Baxter. Can he bleed? What's wrong with him? He's been scared half to death. It's time to get them guns, Joe. Come on. Sure is spare with his time. Anything happen I should know? Oh, nothing much. They gave up on the petition. They didn't try anything else? Well, Baxter was putting out a newspaper to help him, but we stopped him. Oh? How? Oh. A little hot lead. Good. He won't forget. That's all? Yep. What happened to your hand, Bert? I was a stranger. Nothing to worry about. You better be right. Bert. Yes, sir. Put my horse up and build a fire out there by the gallows. We'll be able to see better. Jay, Hoagie, come on. I'm going to do worse, you hear? Let's go. Trouble? I got there too late, they told me. All things being equal, you got there as soon as you could. do something good for Mr. Carwright and Adam. And I didn't even get them their last meal on time. They're tying their hands up so as to hang them. Thought it was a plain business deal. Sheriff gave you a nickel for the job. I don't care about the nickel. I want to do something for Mr. Cartwright before they kill him. I know it's hard, Jimmy. That's the way it's got to be. They're murderers. They're not. Mr. Cartwright gave me a Christmas horse. What? Last year, when Ma and Pa were liking to die with a fever, Mr. Cartwright came over and gave me that pretty piebald mare mine. Said it was for Christmas. And it was in the middle of the summer. Now I'll never get to pay him back. Now look, you paid Mr. Cartwright back, and he knows it. And I know it. And someday you're gonna know it. Yeah? Yeah. Now, come on, you can go home. Everything's gonna be all right. Poor kid. Just like the Cartwrights. Buy some little present and get a lifetime of loyalty for it. As if they were kings or something. With the fire they're building, you'll get a good view of the hanging from here. What makes you think I want a good view? Don't you? And why'd you mark the calendar towards this day? Look, I want this to happen. I don't want to see it happen. We'll be over in a few minutes. I've got things to do. Can't see the hanging from here. Just hear it. 
hear it. Your hanging sounds almost as bad as it looks. Trap door bangs open. And there's a loud thump. There's probably a few fellas watching will give a, a hoop or a holler. Is this the uh, window you saw the killing from? Mm-hmm. It's kind of dusty. Why don't you leave me alone? Because you didn't see it. Deuce Martin told you he saw the killing and you thought the cart rats were guilty. Yeah, they deserve to hang. You didn't see it. Look, I've gone through enough. I've lost my pa. I know the cop rights are dying on my word alone. Now you just leave me be. I thought you were a friend. I am, and I won't let you do this. Look, Hawkins told me what it'd be like. The cop rights are rich men. They'd go free after killing my pa. I couldn't let that happen. So you lied? I didn't say that. Now look, once, just once, I saw an innocent man hanged. And I'm still looking for the men who did it, and I will be for a long time. Now, the Cartwrights didn't kill your pa. I know that. In some place, some place inside you, you know that too. Leave me be. It's starting. All right, we better move. Not yet. They're walking up the steps. Can you hear them? I didn't see them. I couldn't be sure. Tell him. Go on, tell him. Sheriff Hanson! Sheriff Hanson! Sheriff Hanson, I... I lied. I didn't see them do it. Stay out of this. We met before, mister. Who are you? In Las City, Kansas. Remember? At another hanging party. Remember? Remember? That's enough shooting. All right. I bet you're glad we didn't wait till the last minute. <laughs>
Well, the court writes. How much I, I owe you? Two dollars. Much obliged. Lassiter, I... I guess I'll never know who killed Pa. Hang an innocent man. I owe you a... I want to thank you. You don't have to thank me. You did what you thought you had to do. And you made it right. I know how you feel. My pa was hanged wrongly. Why don't you... Why don't you stay here? Found the man you were looking for. Thank you. But the men who did that hanging, there's more of them. A lot more. I'll be seeing you. He's a driven man, Paul. I sure would hate to be him. Yeah. Somebody'd like to be even less. Any one of the men he's looking for. 